Hello everyone, welcome back. This is KJ4YZI, Eric, and you're watching Ham Radio Concepts. Today on the table here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine antenna analyzers. A lot of product here and a lot of money that is all made by rig expert antenna analyzers. So my friends at Gigaparts were kind enough upon my request from recent inquiries and some things I really wanted to get to on video. I said, hey, uh, why don't you send me everything Ray Expert has? And there's everything here minus a couple. I did do a dozen video like the AA230 Zoom and the AA50 Arduino board. But this is most of Rig Expert's line right here that I'm borrowing to show you. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm give you an idea of where they span as far as different types of product and which one you may want. And then the ones I haven't done videos on, which is probably all of these except the stick there, I might show a quick video right after. We got a little mini series on all the different you know, antenna analyzers that Rig Expert makes. Now, again, I've had a lot of questions from people that say, you know, Eric, why, since my Nano VNA video and the compact antenna and stuff, they say, why are you always, you know, gung ho on an analyzer? Why can't I just, you know, look at the SWR on my meter on my 7100, which I showed? And it's got the graphical, the thing there where you can get 10 plots, you know, on the 7100, the 7300, the 9700. It shows you the SWR, and that's great. And that's what I did in the video. I did have two analyzers that day to use, but I chose to do it that way. And that will give you an idea of what your SWR is. But I'm going to say this, and this has gotten me in trouble before, but I'm going to say this again. There is nothing better in ham radio than having a properly tuned antenna. Now, tuners have a place. Tuners are usable. Tuners are been around longer than I have. I do not use tuners. I use resonant antennas, resonant multiband antennas, and I like to use my antennas or trim, you know, make my own antennas or tune them to where they are minimum reflected power at the appropriate loaded resistance or, you know, 50 ohms. And, and, and how do you do that without an analyzer? You don't, okay? Because you, in instances, not being a quantum theorist, you can have a lower SWR with a way high reactance or, or a, a react, uh, uh, you know, resistance. And, and so you, with something like this, you can see everything your antenna is doing. Is it, is it tuned? Uh, is it, you know, multi-band at the same time? You could use one of these and I'll show you. Five bands at one time. 10, 12, 15, 17, 20. You could look at five bands at one time on an antenna, on an analyzer like this and see what the tune of each antenna is at the same time. So, Rig Expert, I met these guys, um, they, they hail from Ukraine, I met these guys at Dayton and uh, they were really cool. And at that time I had only done one or two videos, so now we're gonna move ahead and I'm gonna show you some more Rig Expert stuff here. In the meantime, one thing I wanna show you too, the difference between a Nano VNA analyzer on Amazon for 70 bucks, which I bought and it's decent, Difference between that and something like Rig Expert right here, two year guarantee, and an entire knowledge database on the internet, on their website, Facebook, and everywhere else. That's the big difference. If you are somebody that needs uh, you know, uh, information or education, or you want to learn more about this, or stay up to date with the uh, firmware updates and stuff, something like Rig Expert versus a China $40 analyzer on, on Amazon is no comparison. Now, again, you can buy one of those $40 analyzers and it will give you an idea of everything that I'm talking about. Reactance and resistance and SWR. But some people want to have something that you can hook up to a computer, that you can download stuff from, uh, to your plots, use it as a computer-aided device, um, and have a knowledge base you know, like that. So that's, that's one big difference in spending more money on an analyzer versus something that's less expensive. I want to show you because some people say, well, you got this one, the AA600, uh, then you got this one, the AA1000 Zoom. What's the difference? Well, let me go to each one of these quickly just to give you a one minute sentence on each one of these. And then I'll do a series after on video that will show uh, a quick review on each one of these, what you can do, what it looks like. Now the AA35 is the rig expert. I haven't seen one yet, AA35 Zoom rather. So this one here, uh, we'll do anything from pretty much DC, probably 100 kilohertz, to 35 megahertz, okay? Now, if you're somebody that is uh, wanting to be only on HF and you're only interested in 160 to 10 meters, this would probably be the way to go. I mean, 
If you're planning on getting VHF or UHF down the road and you want an you know, analyzer, one of these that will do more than just HF, well, they're out there and you can consider that. But some people I've talked to, they've told me VHF and UHF is children's radio, that HF is where the real hams hang out. That's a really, really poor, poor statement and I don't ever want to talk to that guy. If you're one of those persons that only wants to do HF, this would be for you. And this is the AA35 Zoom. So the Zoom gives you a few more features like the AA230 Zoom I did. Originally, uh, my very first uh, video of a rig expert, or a very first video even with Gigaparts, was when I, I met them, I had my YouTube channel was really small, and they had the AA1000, the green case. And I'll show you that in a second. And I remember them sending it to me, and I sent it back, and then that's how I met the guys, what was that, five something years ago? But back in the day, that was impressive. I was like, whoa, I can see everything, you know? So in the meantime, Let's get back to where I'm going because I like to drift on conversation. But it's better than watching TV right now, isn't it? So the AA35 Zoom. Now, I'm not going to say any prices on this. I'll have the links in the description because prices change and that's bit me before too. People said, oh, you said this was $279 or, and now it's $249 and now it's $300. I don't like to say prices because things change. You might be watching this a year from now. So that's the AA35 Zoom. And videos to follow on each individual one of these, okay? Now, to move up, now you wanna go something more than just HF, all right? So you look at this one here. Now this is the AA600. Now this is a little bit different because it doesn't have the features that the Zoom has because they have an AA650 Zoom right here. But this will do anything from DC to 600 megahertz. And it comes with the case, it comes with all the stuff, uh, you'll see that. Okay, so now let's say you wanna do a little bit more. Now, again, this is the AA650 Zoom. Now the AA650 Zoom and the AA600, well, you're saying, well, this only does 50 megahertz more. And what would you be doing between 600 and 650, there's no handband there, that you would need to have an, an analyzer that has 50 megahertz more? Well, there's a difference, okay? That this is the zoom model, so you're getting more features and it happens to be 50 megahertz more of range. The 650 zoom offers features uh, that this one doesn't. Now, all of these you could do cable testing, rapid checkout of an antenna, tuning an antenna resonance, um, you know, coaxial lines, measuring their parameters, cable testing, capacitance, inductance, reactive loads, cable resonance, and everything, okay? But this one may do most of that too but you have to look at the specs on each one of these and determine the 650 to 600 is not the difference in the deciding factor. It's the 650 zoom or the non-zoom, okay? So that's that. Now, moving on up, let's say you need more frequency. Okay, this is the AA1000. This is the original one I did, the very first video I did where I met most of the guys Gigaparts and then built a relationship was this right here. Now that video is old. I, I, I advise, I, I was doing it probably with an iPhone back then. So that video is old, but I've come a long way, haven't I? So the AA1000, okay? And this is the, uh, the green family of analyzers as well. So you can see the boxes, they have like a green tinge to them, right? One, two, three, okay? Then you got the white ones. So that's AA1000. Now then you, you step over here, all right? So AA1000, now you got the AA1400. So again, the difference between an AA1000 and an AA1400, they're identically the same thing, but this one does 400 megahertz in a wider path, uh, wider frequency range. What's that mean to me? That means 1.2 gigahertz on the one on the, uh, the 1400. You could do if you have a 9700 or you have a radio that does 1.2 gig, or the 13 centimeters, you can check out uh, everything on this analyzer, including HF, VHF, UHF and stuff. Now, the 1000 would be good up to the 900 megahertz band. So let's say, again, you don't have anything to do with, um, you know, uh, 13 centimeter band, uh, 1.2 gig, but you're into the 800, 900 megahertz, uh, 900, you know, P25 and all kinds of other stuff. Then the 1000 would be good for you. Let's say you want all the features of the 1000 and you want to do it with the 1200. I mean, uh, up to uh, 1500, then you would do that. So then they get 1.2 gig, you understand what I'm saying? But then, now let's say the next one would be the AA1500 Zoom, okay? Now, looking at this here, we have an AA1400 and the 1500 Zoom. 
So again, if you look at the frequencies on what you're doing, the, the deciding factor is not going to be, I need that extra 100 megahertz, because I don't think there's anything 14 to 1500 in hand bands, okay? Maybe you're doing it for commercial use, but I don't know, you know, Wi-Fi is not even there. 2.4 gig Wi-Fi is not there. So, do you want the features of the Zoom at 1500 megahertz? Or do you want the non-features of the Zoom? Well, you can, just, a lot, you can do a lot of stuff on here, multi-testing and cable resonance. At only 1400 megahertz, you get the drift here? So, now you have the AA1500 Zoom, but watch this. Now, you have the AA2000 Zoom. Now, I'm not sure what is up there in 16, 1700 megahertz land, but this is the Zoom 2000, okay? So the closest comparison would be, so you, now you can look at it this way, the AA1500 Zoom or the AA2000 Zoom. The same exact features, okay? One's built for 500 megahertz more. If you're never up in that way, you might be still way down here in the 650 megahertz range, but the option does exist. Now let's say you want something that's a little more compact from Rig Expert, even though all these are good, you want most of the same features, antenna analyzer, cable analyzer, like one of these, at a little bit lesser of a cost with not so much frequency coverage, okay? You got the stick versions. Now, I've done a video on the AA230 stick, and this is the stick pro, which I've not done the stick pro yet, but I'm gonna check this out. But this video, um, the difference between the stick 30 and the stick pro would be this one does up to, uh, well, this one does 10 kilohertz to 600 megahertz, and this one does 100 kilohertz to 230 megahertz. So again, weigh it out. The difference in these is about $100. They both have Bluetooth, they both come with USB cable, a little case, they both give you a graphical interface, they both can be connected to the computer or your phone for an app. But one does about 230, uh, up to 230 megahertz, and one does up to 600, okay? That's the difference. But when you look at these, they are both two little cute analyzers, you know? Something like this um, would be useful at a field day, or let's say you travel a lot, and you're in a, um, a mobile, and you're always wanting to play around with different, let's say you're an RVer, um, you, you're constantly checking things, you wanna have an antenna analyzer all the time. Pop one of these things in your pocket, you know? I mean, it, 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 uh, it's useful, they're, they're great, but then you might say, why would I not want this? If this does 600 megahertz, why do I want the 600 megahertz one here? Well, because this one's smaller. Some people are visually impaired. The screen is quite small in these. Gives you an idea of what you're looking at, but this one's got a lot, a much larger screen on it. Um, probably more runtime with the, with the batteries. And, uh, but you know what? To each his own, okay? Rig Expert has an option. Now, let's, let's look at it this way. What one company has this many different types of analyzers? Okay, because uh, remember now you, you also have the AA230 Zoom, which is essentially this stick here, uh, but a bigger screen. Then you have the Arduino boards and probably a couple other ones I don't know about yet. But you have, they have, you know, uh, the, the capability of, of all these uh, to give you an option of what you want. Options I think are good at ham radio because uh, I can't decide on what I'm eating to dinner tonight and I can never decide on what I want to play with in ham radio. It's more fun, if you haven't figured this out yet, okay, it, it, this may be a shock to you. It's more fun for me to do this with you guys on camera and, and look at these things and play with them than it is to sit out there all day. I don't sit on 40 meters on the net every morning. I don't do events all the time. It's more fun for me to check out new stuff and to, to watch you guys having fun and get your opinions. I'm open to all your opinions on these rig experts. Like I said, you, you always want to make sure that your antenna is operating properly. And I'll tell you what, in and, this, and, and to, to follow up on my message before, because you're good, I know you're screaming at the machine, the, the monitor. In the commercial land mobile radio world in which I work, there's no such thing as a tuner. They are, the antennas are precision designed commercially for the frequency that is registered by the FCC. There is no such thing as getting a, a multiband antenna that has a 500 megahertz spread or, or something that's VHF, UHF. I mean, when you talk about a 47 mega antenna, 47 megahertz, the transmit and receive two separate antennas with the duplexers, they're tuned exactly for the frequency. The UHF, they're tuned exactly for the frequency. Why? Why did we slap a tuner on it? Because that's not the efficient way of doing it. And you can yell at me all you want, but an antenna analyzer is something we use every day, not necessarily these types, but we use these every day uh, on a, and Ritsu Sightmaster and some other ones, uh, the Riggle, so that we can see exactly what the feed line's doing. 
Um, tower climber can terminate it at the top and we can test the cable. We can do all that stuff and we can see exactly what's happening. But throwing a tuner on or masking a problem or making it where the radio is happy, you're pushing the button and the signal's going somewhere, but it's not going to that guy in Australia on 11 meters, like I promise you that. We will have more videos on the way. Stay tuned. Links are in the description, 7-3. This is KJ4YZI. Does ham radio interest you? If so, visit hamradioprep.com to begin the journey. The learning begins at hamradioprep.com.